everybody and welcome to the Crafty Plenty Life. My name is Vanessa and I am coming to you from Northern Colorado. And I have some stuff to show you. I have some finished objects today. Um, I realized when I was looking at my last video, I'm wearing the same exact shirt. <laughs> it has been washed since then, but I didn't realize I was wearing that shirt in the last video and today is the day that I have to record. So here we are. <laughs> um, I do have a couple of finally finished objects um, right there. I will show you a closer look at that. I got that one professionally framed. That was a uh, temperature cross stitch. I can't remember who the designer was. Um, something apricot. I will put it down below in the show notes. <laughs> and um, I got that one professionally framed. And then I also did ooh, right here, um, C is for coffee, which I think it was heartstring samplery, maybe. Um, I actually finished that one myself. Um, it looks okay. It's the first time I actually put trim around something that I finished. It looks all right. Meh. Um, so I will show you a little bit up close of that. Basically, it was just like a wooden circle that I got from Michaels. And basically, I just wrapped the cross stitch around the wooden circle and then just glued a trim around it. <laughs> Nothing fancy. Um, and basically, I just stapled the rest of the piece to the back and just put a string on it. Yeah, it's good enough. Um, it's up. <laughs> it's up there. There are more things I want to finish, but I haven't had time to do that. It's been busy here. I do have my coffee. It is the afternoon, yes. But I do have this coffee <laughs> that I bought in my Frida Kahlo mug. It's still a little bit warm. It's the gingerbread latte. Um, I actually bought this several hours ago and then I just reheated it in my own mug from Starbucks. And this is my favorite drink and they finally brought it back this year. So I was very excited about that. It's so good. I've had it like a dozen times already. <laughs> I want to make sure that I get it all in before they take it away again for the season, um, which I think I still have about a month. But anyway, I have, as I mentioned, a lot of finished objects. I have some whoops to show you. This is probably going to be my last full episode until next year because I will be doing Vlogmas. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, it is um, a lot of people on YouTube. They um, vlog every day of December or every day leading up to Christmas, however you want to do it. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do yet. We'll see how much content I have. But yeah, I'm planning on doing Vlogmas this year. I'm hoping to get some big finishes and I'll show you a couple of those that I really want to get finished by the end of the year. Okay, let me think. Is there anything else? I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. Um, let's get into the finished objects. So I do have, oh, I missed one. It's down here. Give me a second. Okay, so I'll show you these first since I had to grab them anyway. These are the Paper, Wins, Paper Wing Socks by Helen Stewart. Curious handmade, and you can see the little, they look like little butterflies. This was a super easy pattern. Um, so if you're wanting to get into textured socks, pattern socks, this would be a great one to start with because it's just pearls and knits. And I made this a little shorter than the, I think the called for was actually six repeats. I think I only did five. And then I did my own heel and I just knit the rest. Stuck on it and did a wedge toe. So these are gonna be for me, and the yarn was, where did I put that tag? Let me see if it's in here. <laughs> I had this yarn in my stash for quite a while. We bought it when we were in Chicago, um, many moons ago. Oh, here it is. Stitch Together Studio. And it's the exclusive color for the yarn shop that they had there. I don't know if it's still open. I don't know if this yarn company is still in business, but the yarn company or the yarn shop that I bought it from was called Yarnify. And that's what this yarn is also called because it's supposed to have like the colors of the Chicago flag. So it's, I don't know if you can see it. Do, 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 do. That's what the Chicago flag looks like. So this is the suck. So I love these. I think I'm probably going to do this pattern at some point in time again because I thought it was really easy. And I know it's really hard to see on here, but it was really easy and really fun. And it was fun kind of seeing the butterflies come into existence. <laughs> um, so these are going to be for me. And then I have a couple more. I have three more pairs. No, three? Three more pairs of socks completed. So these are also gonna be for me. These are in the, I only had this much left. I already made a socks, a pair of socks 
with this yarn, the striping yarn, um, for myself a few years ago, and it's the Creepy Pumpkin by the Yarn Jar, and I don't think they die. I, I couldn't find them when I was looking to see if they had any other yarns. Sounds like an airplane. <laughs> but uh, this is, the toe is, I ran out of yarn, so that's why I use a different color toe. It's um, Pickle Juice by Nipix, which I don't think they make anymore, so I don't think you get either of these yarns anymore, but I make these made these shorties for myself. These are gonna be in my Halloween box. So there we go, pair of shorties, and there's two of them. So I got those finished. And I'm sorry if you hear the washer in the background. <laughs> um, okay, so these, I think I'm gonna give these to my mom, although they're really pretty. I don't know, I have to figure that out. <laughs> these were on my needles for quite a long time. Um, they're actually a, do I have a tag in here? Don't think I do. I don't. I'll put the information down below. I think there were a Lang, Lang yarns. If not, it'll be down below. But I've had these on my needles for a long, long time. And they're basically full length socks. Um, the heel was an afterthought heel, which I haven't done an afterthought heel in a long time. This was a, a Knit Picks Glimmer in Black, which I don't think they make anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I had to go back and, and do this, do the afterthought heel on these and the next pair of socks that I'm gonna show you. But I've been doing my heel flap and gusset for a while now. So I kind of had to go back and do some afterthought socks. So there's another pair. And again, I think those I'm giving to my mom for Christmas, although they're really pretty and I really like them, but I also like my mom. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, I still have a month. Okay. I got these done. These are Desert Vista Dye Works in the Sleepy Hollow colorway. These have been in my, on my needle since last June, I think it was last summer. These are for my husband, his giant ass feet. He wears a size 13, I think, men's size 13, US 13. So his socks always take forever because they're also not only super long, but they're also 72 inches 72, 72 stitches, whereas all of mine and my mom's are all 64 stitches. So it's more stitches on the needles and they're super long, um, both the leg and the foot. So I was able to get these done. These are gonna be a Christmas present. I already started, actually I'll show you his, um, the ones that I just started for him for next year. Cause it literally takes me a whole year to finish, over a year to finish these socks. Um, but he does get one pair a year. And these have an afterthought heel. Um, I just used the same color. I had some leftover. Um, yeah, so that is that. I will put those away for Christmas. So excited these were done. And then I, since we're talking about his socks, I'll just show you the next one, which is in a bag that I made a long time ago. And these are Hugh Loco in the Beatnik, I think colorway. I think it was Beatnik. And I bought these... I bought this, sorry, move the table. I bought this yarn like two years ago when we went up to Hugh Loco to their old studio. I think they got a new studio since then. And I am almost to the heel on this one. What? I've been taking this to work and just working during, or just knitting during meetings, um, whenever I'm on Zoom. Anyway, I could just take my camera off. I don't, I haven't felt comfortable enough to actually um, knit in an actual meeting with people sitting next to me because I feel like, you know how people are about knitting in public and they don't think you're paying attention and whatever, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so I've been knitting on these during meetings where I don't have to be on camera. And as you can see, my stitch markers, I do these every 20 rounds. So I usually do a hundred, a hundred stitch, hundred round leg for him. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah. So I'm past 80, I believe. So I just need to get to a hundred and then I could do the toe or the, the heel <laughs> and I don't know exactly what color I'm going to use for the heel because I don't know if I'm gonna have enough left to do the heel and the toe for both socks so I might just do a gray for the heel I haven't figured it out yet but I think I'm gonna try a different heel for him I usually do afterthought heels and those have fit but I want to try the um, uh, heel flap and gusset on him to see if, how those fit on his feet so that's why I want to try these for these are gonna be for Christmas of 2024 so that's one whip. 
Um, let me go back to my finished object section here. So this is a pattern. I actually got a cross stitch finished, but not completely finished. So this is all the zest by Caterpillar cross stitch. And I've been working on this one for a while too. So I finally got it done. I'm trying to see which side is up. Okay, I think it's like this. But yeah, here we go. I'm probably just gonna finish this in a hoop and put it on the wall. So yeah, I just used all of the, it was a kit, so I just used all of the floss. I think it was just DMC. But that is done and I used, what fabric did I use for this? I thought the tag still on here. Oh yeah, it is. So this is picture this plus in the color Regency. And this was on Ada because that's the only, that's the only fabric that I like to stitch on is Ada. And actually this is, I know that there's a lot of people out there that cross stitch and they love like the really soft fabric. And this is one of them. You can see how floppy this is, how super floppy. And I actually didn't like that. I like fabric that is very like stiff and just stands up on its own. That is my kind of fabric. Like this was a little, you see, this was a little too floppy for me to work on, but I got it done. So that's going to go on my pile to finish. I have a whole little stack of things that I need to finish, but hopefully there'll be some more time off in the next um, month or so that I'll be able to do that. Okay. So now let's do some whips, some works in progress, some whips. <laughs> now this is a item that I really want to get finished this year and I want to give it to my daughter for Christmas. So I'm almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, so let me show you. This is the Bits and Bobs Blanket by Kay Jones. And let me see. Show you which way. Oh, here it is. Okay. Look how pretty it is and big. <laughs> I'll have to get up to show you. Okay. So the last time you saw it, it was right down here. It's a little stitch marker. So I've done all of this since the last time you saw it, which was probably last December <laughs> or January, making sure I'm not running over a dog with my chair. Um, so I will show, try to show you all of it. It's, it's pretty heavy, but I don't know if you can see the bottom or not. I can't see you, but I'm assuming you can see the bottom maybe. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> So as you can see, it's more of a lap blanket, which is fine. Um, I am 5'3", and right now I have it like on, right on the floor. So it goes right up to like my belly. So um, this should be good as a little like lap blanket, like when she's at her desk and on the couch and stuff like that. And basically my goal is to just knit up the rest of this. So I'm holding two yarns together and these were just like a scrap ball of yarn. And I'm just using like grays and solids. So basically I'm just going to use up the rest of this. Whenever this is done, then my blanket will be done. So I should get this done by December. Oh, I'm so hoping for it. This has been on my needles probably since we lived in Ohio, which is coming on well, actually, let's see, we moved here in 2018. So yeah, it's been on my needles for like six, seven, eight years. I can't even remember now, but it's been on my needles a long, long time and I just want it off. I just want it done. Um, there are a million mistakes in here, but my daughter will not care, but it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's basically fingering held double. Okay, so that is the blanket that I'm hoping, hoping, hoping will get done in the next month or so. Let me get readjusted. <laughs> okay. So that is the blanket. I just need this much left. I, I'm so close, I'm so close. And this is already the second bag that it's been in and you can tell like this is already broken as well. So I've had this in like two different bags because again, moths and <laughs> trying to protect everything from moths. So I put everything in bags of some kind. So yeah, this has been my go-to knitting. Um, whenever I have any free time, since like the last, since the last time I talked to you, I've been working basically on this um, in the evenings when I'm on the couch watching TV with my husband. Like I'm just taking this out and working on it. I don't even think that she knows this is for her, <laughs> um, but she has seen me work on it. So maybe it'll make it more special that she's seen me work on it and she'll have those connections to it. But yeah, so 
next time, hopefully, I see you sometime in December during the Vlogmas, I'll be able to show you a finished object. So I just have to, because I've been weaving, well, it's actually all been um, magic knotted. Sorry, crinkling. It's all been magic knotted, so I won't have any ends to weave in. And I did have a couple of them pop, but I just like basically just fixed them and then weaved them in. So once it's bound off, I just have to wash it and then gift. And that should be good. All right, let me put this away. Maybe, <laughs> there we go. Okay. And another project I wanted to show you was my Harvest Cardigan, another plastic bag. All the objects that I'm working on are big right now. All right, so here is, whew, I'm in the middle of a round, because of course I am. Here it is, the Harvest Cardigan. So last time you saw it, it was right there by that little ghosty. Can't see it. Maybe I might do it upside down. Here we go. <laughs> we'll just do it this way. So last time you saw it, it was right down there. And then I've been able to put in several inches. So I'm way past the arms. I've been trying it on as, as I go, but it's gonna be a longer cardigan. Cause I have a lot of yarn left. I'm on my second um, ball and this is, I should mention, Big Twist. This is Joanne's Big Twist in tweed. This is the gray color. And this is my second ball. I bought four. I think I bought too many, <laughs> but I could use the last ball for something else. I'm probably thinking that I'm gonna use three maybe because I have this to do, right? And I still have all of this. And then, so I have to finish the body and then I gotta do the arms. So I'm assuming that maybe three and Joanne's was having a sale, so I bought more. <laughs> I bought different colors. <laughs> I bought more of them. Um, I'm gonna make them into like sweaters, more cardigans. Um, but yeah, I've very much enjoyed this. I very much enjoy working with the yarn still. And it's been fun. I took this one to a doctor's appointment today, which was a little bit unruly, but I really like it and I'm excited to wear it. I'm hoping to wear it maybe sometimes in December, if not in January, because it'll be cold here for, for quite a while. I mean, we've had snow until May <laughs> before. So yeah, there was one year that we had snow on the day that Amelia got out of school in late May. So there's still time for me to wear this and I could always wear it as outerwear in the spring. So that is the Harvest Cardigan by Tim Kennett's. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to show you. Um, I don't think so. I'll be doing a kind of a whip parade at the end of the year. Probably after Vlogmas, I'll be doing a whip parade showing you all of the things that I still have on the needles, even though the plan was to, <laughs> to try to get down to 10 whips. Um, that is not happening. Let me see if I can figure out. Uh, definitely not. Well, cross stitch is not happening because I have about 10 whips in cross stitch. So that's pretty controllable because I don't really get go through cross stitch as quickly. Um, but yes, I have a lot, a lot to go. I'm looking at my list of whips. I'm not going to count them all right now, but, um, yeah, I still have a lot to do before the end of the year. Let's see, in terms of Christmas presents, um, I finished a pair of socks for my mom. I don't know if I'm going to give her those yet. Maybe if I finish a couple more, I could kind of decide. The The paper wing ones are definitely mine, so she can't have those. Because <laughs> those have like a memory attached to the yarn. Because we were in Chicago for, my husband was running a marathon there, so we were in Chicago for that event. And they have a memory attached to that, so I want to keep those. So I need a pair of socks for my mom. Um, my husband's socks are done. I usually make him a hat as well. I'm making the bustle, muscle burrow. Let's see if I could whip that out. Oh, ha, that worked out. So this is what I'm knitting for my husband for Christmas. Um, if you've never heard of the muscle burrow hat, it's basically like you do, it's supposed to be worn um, with two layers. So basically what you do is that you start at the top on one side of the hat and then you knit, 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 knit until you get enough. Um, which I have to figure out how much that is. But basically until you get enough and then you decrease for another crown and then you're supposed to like basically go like this. And that way it's like a, 
a double insulated hat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what it's gonna look like at the end. And this is, um, the yarn is the Knitted Wit in the color Rocky Mountain National Park, I think it was. So this is going to, and it looks much different in person than it does on the screen. There's a lot of purple in there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's a lot of purple in there. And I just think it's a funky color and he doesn't have any hats like this. So this is going to be for him. So this shouldn't be like, I should actually leave this out and prioritize it because I want to get that blanket done. And then I want to get this done um, because I also made my nieces some hats, but those are basically done. Um, I just have to do a couple more decreases on one hat and both of those hats would be done. And that's basically all I do in terms of knitting gifts for people. So I just usually do like a hat and some socks for my husband, a pair of socks for my mom, and then something small or big <laughs> for my daughter. Um, this year it's going to be that blanket. But she doesn't really wear a whole lot of knitted stuff anymore. Maybe she'll come back to it eventually. But um, yeah, um, so I'll leave this out so I can work on that some more. And the, the half and half was just teasing me there. I literally have like maybe a couple of hours left on the half and half and then I'll be done, which is one of my goals for the year. So I'm hoping to get that done to show you in Vlogmas as well. <laughs> And then my goal, my other goal as part of that half and half blanket is to start a new one, which um, I do have yarn for that. So yeah, I'm getting excited um, about Vlogmas. Um, I know that there's several of you that watch that do Vlogmas as well, and I am looking forward to seeing you. Um, I love when people vlog. I know that some people, that's not their thing, but I love when people vlog because I get to know them a little bit more um, outside of them just talking about craft stuff. I get to like learn about their lives and... Um, yeah, that's interesting to me. But anyway, I know that's not everybody's bag. So if you're not interested in vlogs, no worries. Um, you could just skip to probably the end of December where I have my, just saw a hawk fly by, where I have my uh, end of the year kind of whip down and then a whip parade. And then um, I'll have a new episode probably sometime in January. So I think that is it for me now. Um, I will... See you soon, either in Vlogmas or I'll see you in the new year or at the end of December, I guess. So until then, happy knitting and happy crafting and I will see you soon. Bye.